Hello, New Brunswick. This is Charlie Craddeville with New Brunswick Today. I'm coming at you today from Hidden Grounds, the best coffee shop in New Brunswick. We're here at Easton Avenue and Mine Street in the 6th Ward. And this is Today in New Brunswick. Uh, today we've got a lot to talk about. Uh, we just put out a big story that documented uh, decades of corruption. A uh, sheriff who was in power for 30 years uh, is now in prison and he actually just got denied parole. He wanted to get out early and instead he had to spend his 70th birthday uh, in state prison. That was Middlesex County Sheriff Joseph Spicuzzo and uh, it's really a fascinating story of how much he got away with and how long he got away with it for before he was finally charged as a criminal. Um, so check out that story on NewBrunswickToday.com and uh, starting Wednesday Keep an eye out for our bilingual print newspaper that's going to be uh, free and available all over town. We do 10,000 copies of it. It's in English and in Spanish, and uh, you can pick that up at a store like Hidden Grounds uh, or at any of our uh, one dozen news boxes around uh, Middlesex County. Um, so uh, the other big news we have is actually we had a success. We uh, covered a, an important story. A new person was put in charge of the Board of Commissioners at the New Brunswick Housing Authority. Uh, Louis Gonzalez, he did an interview with me and uh, admitted that he didn't live in the city of New Brunswick, um, which actually made him ineligible for the position. And um, when he discovered that, uh, to his credit, he did the right thing and he resigned from office. So uh, credit where credit is due. Uh, thank you to Mr. Gonzalez for doing the right thing and putting the city first and the housing authority first. And uh, now somebody who's eligible for that position uh, can get it. And I encourage people who uh, want to serve on the Housing Authority Board to put in your applications to the city clerk's office and, uh, and put your name in the running to replace uh, Mr. Gonzalez. Um, so check out those stories too. It's big, uh, a big accomplishment. It's the first time anybody's ever resigned because of our reporting. But I, I definitely want to send the message that uh, the truth will set you free. It's a good thing that Louis Gonzalez talked to me. It's a good thing that he told the truth when he was interviewed by me. And it's a great thing that he did the right thing by resigning. Um, uh, so so uh, best of luck to him and, and, uh, and thank you for being truthful and thank you for uh, putting the citizens of New Brunswick first. Um, one last note, uh, August 11th, tomorrow, I'm going to be in municipal court. The crooked prosecutors and crooked cops in New Brunswick are continuing to try to uh, prosecute me uh, over complete nonsense uh, and uh, you can read all about it on NJ.com, they've covered it extensively, but believe it or not this case is not over yet and I need your support. If you can come out tomorrow uh, at about 5 p.m. I'm going to be in Municipal Court, 25 Kirkpatrick Street in New Brunswick, that's again tomorrow, Tuesday, August 11th, and show your support, show you care, and show that you don't want uh, the editor of the best newspaper in New Brunswick to be pushed around by crooked officials. Uh, so my birthday's on Friday. Please support New Brunswick today. Keep supporting me. Keep, keep me out of jail so I don't have to hang out with Spicuzzo. And uh, thanks for reading. Look out for NewBrunswickToday.com and our phenomenal bilingual print newspaper. This is Charlie K. signing off. See you next time.